This is Justin Arndell for Baseball Rebellion, and we're going to take a page out of Ben Hogan's Five Lessons book and apply it to pitchers. And what I'm talking about here is how to initiate proper rotation into the release of the baseball. And one thing that Ben Hogan talks about is on the downswing, okay, so as I'm going to my backswing, as I'm preparing to swing downwards towards the golf ball here, I want to really feel my hips dominate and lead the swing. So it's this action here that I want to feel, okay? If I'm a big Tiger Woods fan, and if you'll notice whenever he's getting prepared for his shot, you can really see his hips take his body through and the club hit lags. And that's maybe the feeling that he wants to initiate. So as an overhand thrower, a lot of this gets lost in translation and we should be trying and strive to be feeling the same thing. Okay, so let me grab my glove here, and I've got these yellow circles here, one here in my stomach, two here in my right rear hip, three in my elbow, and four in my wrist and my hand. And what I want to show you is basically this. In preparation to throw, I want to start getting my body sequenced in order, okay? So what I want to start to do is I want to start to feel my stomach turn my pelvis open, okay? So if, if you see the first dot here, you'll see my stomach open, then my hips, and as I move into rotation, here comes my elbow, and then the last dot you'll see is my wrist and my hand into the release of the ball, okay? So we want to start very slowly, and if you notice, as I start to kind of turn my stomach here, you kind of see how it's starting to the action of rotation back here with my arm into external rotation. So this is the first move that I should start to feel. And then I just continue the motion all the way into rotation. Now I can start slow, and I can gradually get faster with the whole thing, okay? There's a, there's a video that I've included in the article of Tom Brady, and he's just kind of talking and showing some basic throwing mechanics. But what he's doing is he kind of presets his shoulder, and then as he starts to move into his throw, you'll start to see his hips and stomach open here. He starts to go back into thoracic extension into the release of the football, okay? Same thing happens with tennis players. Ball goes up, they start to move, the hips kind of get under them, they move into rotation, the stomach, the hips go, then finally the tennis racket hits the ball, okay? So there's various ways that we can learn from other sports that help us learn about rotating properly. This happens to be golf, okay? But particularly for young throwers out there, you gotta make sure that the center of your body is operating properly if you expect to get a high output into the final release of the baseball. Hope this video helps. This is Justin Orndoff for Baseball Rebellion. Thank you.